Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to buy car insurance online in USA. Before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be a new uh, car owner here and you're wondering how do you buy your own car insurance here? Now, there are a few things they need to know here and a few uh, things they need to visit for you to uh, decide on what type of car insurance or what is the perfect car insurance for you. So before you proceed on actually viewing or choosing our car insurance, what we need to do first here is we need to visit a very specific website here or a tool that we could actually use. So in this case, go over and head over to google.com here and you want to go and search the following, which is going to be car insurance comparison USA. Because we'll be using a tool here that we could actually use to compare different car insurance. Because we all know that car insurance have different forms or they are from different companies. So choosing one is quite difficult. So in this case, we first see the Forbes uh, link here. So in this case, go ahead and skim over the links that you see here. But in this case, we'll be using the Forbes one here. Now, once you click on it, you should be able to see their official website. Now... In this case, this is the tool that we could actually use for choosing our, uh, in this case, our car insurance. But before we proceed on choosing one, we need to, again, know a few things and uh, gather a few things here. So before you start the insurance application process, it's actually quite crucial to have the essential details at hand. So for your car, especially. So in this case, uh, what are those things they need to actually know here? So. What you need to do first here is you need to actually provide or gather some information here. So that includes your car model and make or the make and model of your vehicle, the year of manufacture, vehicle registration number, and the current odometer reading. So the number of miles or kilometers your car has traveled. So in addition to vehicle information, you need to uh, provide some personal details for all drivers who will be covered under the policy. That includes their full name dates of birth, addresses, driver's license information, and also if you currently have insurance policy, note down your current coverage limits and insurance number for a reference. Now, once you've had all those details, what you need to do is you need to determine the coverage needed here. So, understand the types of coverage available will help you choose what's the best for you. So, in this case, we have li liability coverage. So, this is most, or in this case, the most basic form of coverage required by law and in some places. It covers damages and injuries you cause to others in an accident. So, that includes property damage and bodily injury. Now, we also have personal injury protection or PIP. So, this coverage is available if you want medical expenses for yourself or, and on this case, and your passengers covered, regardless of who is at fault in an accident. You also have the comprehensive coverage here. So, this covers damage to your car from non collision events. This includes theft vandalism, natural disasters, and accidents with animals. So it's especially useful if you live in an area prone to severe weather or if your car is valuable. Now, well, assess your needs based on factors like your driving habits and value your car and your budget here because our budget and the value of your car is the most important thing that you need to consider here. Next you want to do is you want to compare car insurance codes. Now, since we are already in a website that we could actually use to basically search for different codes, you could go to their website here. And in here, we have the option to further uh, simplify or in this case, filter out codes so we could see here. So you could enter your zip code here, your age, the current insurer here. So you could choose other here if you want to see them. But once you've done that or provide all the details here, just click on compare rates. Now also you have the option to provide some details like if you're at home you'll, or you have multiple vehicles, you have military affiliation, if you have good credit and insert in home insurance as well. So in this case, you go and enable them. But in this case, when you scroll down about uh, scroll down a bit here, you should be able to see like comp uh, insurance rates by age here and some information regarding some um, insurance or car insurance. So in this case, we have the cor compare car insurance rates for 18 years old. So these are people who are uh, 18 years old. So in this case, we have the company here, the full coverage here, and the state minimum car insurance cost per year. So if you want to see more regarding this, you go and click on see more here and you should be able to see more options or companies in here. Now, you also have the by state option here. So Alabama, Alaska, Arizona. Also, I'll be compare car insurance rates by 25 years old. 
So in this case, once you click one of the following companies here, it's going to open up a new section here, which in this case, you'll have the option to view a different uh, car insurance. Like for example, since we click Alabama here, it's going to open up car insurance by, uh, in Alabama. So in this case, this is for 20 years old, for travelers, 30, 40. So if you want to get quotes that or, or for that, you go and click on get quotes now and you'll be able to uh, basically fill out some details here and uh, you'll uh, just follow the on-screen steps here for you to uh, basically uh, get your car insurance. Now, once you know your coverage, so again, you need to shop or start shopping for codes here. So there are online co comparison sites here like what we just did before, but again, there are going to be different websites that you can also use as well. Now you could also get an insurance agent if you want to. You could also get a direct contact, so reach out to insurance companies directly through their website or customer service online or service lines. So comparing quotes will help you understand different pricing and coverage options. So be sure to check reviews and ratings for insurance companies as well. Now, once you've chosen your, or in this case, once after comparing codes and selecting the best policy for your needs, it's time to purchase, purchase it or an insurance providers after different payment options. So uh, in this case, uh, you could actually choose from two options of paying your uh, insurance here. So uh, annual payment is, from name itself, is uh, paying the full premium upfront for the year. Also have the monthly installments here, so spread the cost over the year with monthly payments. Now, in some cases, uh, different providers actually have different other payment methods. So sometimes they would have like quarterly payments. So make sure to ask what are the other available payment options that they have. But once you've completed the purchase, you receive a proof of insurance, which you'll need to keep in your vehicle and possibly provide the uh, provide to authorities or other parties as needed. Now. Also, if you had a previous car insurance policy, make sure to cancel it once your new policy is active. So contact your old insurer to cancel the and confirm your new policy. So in place, avoid any lapse in coverage. So the steps ensure that you're not paying for duplicate coverage and that you're compliant with insurance regulations. And that's about it. So the main thing here is to make sure to leverage the websites or tools that you could get online here. So you should be good. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.